I get asked often what kind of clubs I have and what equipment I like to use, so I'm going to share this with you today. I have a Titleist golf bag, which I love. Whenever a bag wears out, I get myself another Titleist bag, mostly because I just love the bag. It's just has all the pockets that really make sense to me. I put my golf balls here and then my tees in this small pocket. I put my jacket or sweater in the big one here. And then my gloves are here. I have where I carry a lot of Kleenex. Lots of Kleenex. Because <laughs> I have allergies and I'm always blowing my nose. And then this pocket's great because I put my water bottle in there at times. So this bag just makes sense to me. What I also like is it has compartments. I don't like the golf bags with separate holes for each club. I don't like that much of an organized bag. So I like these compartments where I put my nine, seven, eight here and then my longer irons, 654 on this side. And then this compartment, I have all my wedges. Pitching wedge, all the way to my 62 degree wedge. And then my putter, I put with my hybrids and my driver. Let me start with the driver. A lot of you know now that I'm using the Ping G400. I tried the G410, but I still wanna stay with the G400. I love how it performs. It feels great. It's a nine degree CB Alta stiff shaft and it's a stock shaft. Normally I love custom shafts and trying them out. I love that this works just beautifully so I don't feel like I need to get another shaft. It's a nine degree but I changed the loft. I believe the bigger minus is an 8.5 and this one is a smaller minus and that could be an eight degree. So it's between eight to 8.5. It's a high launching driver. So I wanted to bring it down a bit. And then I have these hybrids that I've had for a very long time. It's the Titleist Speeder Fujikura shaft. Stiff, basically all my shafts are stiff flex. This is a 19 degree Titleist H1 hybrid. And I don't know what season this was. This was a while back. I have it on A1 setting. I love just standard settings on all my woods because I really believe that you can produce all your shapes of shots with the proper swing and fundamentals. And that's more fun than having a draw biased or where it's set to hit a fade because then it kind of messes up other areas of your game, it can. So I like to keep it standard. So it's at an A1 setting. This is a great hybrid. I mean, I sometimes mix it up. I have a three wood. It's a 16.5 three wood. And I love that three wood, but I feel like I get plenty of distance with my 19. So it's kind of something that I feel like I use more than I would a three wood. This one is 913 HD, 23 degree. I love this shaft. It's graphic design and I got this shaft from the tour van for the PJ Tour. It just has worked beautifully for me. This is something that I would use in exchange for my three iron. So sometimes, depending on the course, I'll use a three iron and take this out or I will leave this in and then take out my three iron. And then these are my irons. It's the AP2 Titleist. I don't really know how to say the shaft. It's Tenzi or Tenze Mitsubishi shaft. I really like this iron. I mean, it's just been really consistent. It's just standard. I love clubs that are standard that doesn't have any kind of bias around it, like a draw bias club. I love the feel of it. It looks very much a blade. I get enough distance out of it so I don't feel like I need a distance iron. I like that I can get more feel out of this. But I do recommend that there are clubs out there that are easier to hit. So this one, if you miss hit it, you could easily lose a club or two. 
And that's how these clubs can work and, and I don't recommend it for everyone. There are a lot more forgiving clubs out there. This grip is a golf pride grip and it's just a standard size. I like to have it wrapped underneath with tape, just one wrapping. You can always add more to make the grip thicker if you have bigger hands. But I wear a lady small glove, so I like to just use a standard men's golf pride grip. I love these. Um, a lot of people like the, the cord grips, but I like this. It's soft enough, and I just feel like I get a lot of feel from these. My irons for the AP2s are pitching wedge all the way to my four iron. And then again, I have a three iron, which I'll bring out if I don't want to use my 23 hybrid. The wedges I have are SM6 62 degree wedge that I use all the time. I don't recommend it if you're not comfortable with high lofted wedges. So really get comfortable and good. Less loft, like a 56 degree wedge that I do have are easier to hit but then as you get better you may like having a high lofted club like a 60 degree or a 62. SM7 56 degree wedge it's beautiful and then I have the 52 degree F grind SM6 this is the SM6 62 and all of them are the XP 95 S 300 steel shafts, which I really like. I like the weight of them. And then let me just go over the golf balls I have. I use the Titleist Pro V1 golf balls. I really like the consistency. I've used these golf balls for a very long time. A few more things. I use this divot tool that I got from Edgewood Tahoe Golf Course. I got several because I really like divot tools that, well, it reminds me of Edgewood because I love that golf course, but it does that. So it's just a great tool and it makes you want to fix divots because it's just cool. <laughs> and then it's got the ball marker. It's a magnet. So it's a wonderful tool. I have a Sharpie to mark my golf ball. I have this towel. It's the US Open Pebble Beach towel. It's from my brother. It was a gift. So I think of him every time I play golf. So, thank you, brother. I think I've gone over most of it. In the future, if I get new clubs, I'll share with you why I switched but for now one more thing I just remembered my putter <laughs> I've had this putter forever there's a huge story behind it it was given to me as a gift but I'll have to do a separate video on that a white hot odyssey number six I love that it's simple it's thin it's simple if there's anything I would change is just that it would have a little more weight on it but I don't think I'm gonna put any lead tape on it because you have to be really consistent to put weight on this putter, but I really love it. I've tried other putters. Sometimes I'll try it. This always comes back, put it back in my bag, and I always, whenever I change my grip, I change it to this grip right here. I don't like the big, thick grips. It helps me feel like I can release my stroke my favorite grip and I've always used it. That's it. Next time, if I have anything new, I'll let you know. Take care. See you later. Bye.